said the ideal time, the preferable time for a person to pray the Zman Shacharit is with the Netzach Hamam. When do we define, how do we define the Netzach Hamam, the sunrise? So there are actually two opinions. One of the opinions is then it is when the sun, the disk of the sun, first appears over the horizon, the first view of the sun over the horizon. The second opinion is when the entire disk of the sun is visible. So from a purely, um, if a, from a matter of safek, it would be preferable to pray actually at the more, the, the later nets, when the, when the sun is completely visible. Because it's better to be ma'achid and makdim, that's what the post came right. Better to pray a little bit later than, than too early. Therefore, if it would just be from the perspective of which of these two opinions to go by, it was written down actually in an earlier edition of Yakut Yosef, that a person should actually pray by the later nets, the nets where the entire sun is visible and over the horizon. However, in a more recent publication, there, Chum Yitzchak Yosef retracts. He says that he went by an earlier Shalot uh, Tshuvot, Chamish Masliach, and their calendar, their luach, their method of calculating the nets, but he actually says that really it's the opposite, that a person should pray at the earlier nets. Why? Because it's not really a safek over here. If you look at the language of most Yishonim, the Shittah of most Yishonim, and the Minhag that we've had in our community from, for uh, time immemorial, we always have gone by the first appearance of the sun. And therefore, given that most Yishonim are mashma, they have the opinion that you go by the first glance of the sun, the first appearance of the disk of the sun over the horizon, and that is the minhag, then that is the proper time for nets, and a person should not wait to fulfill the second opinion of when nets falls out.